Recently titles of Dragon Ball Super episode 68 to 71 got leaked and we got some really hot news. We will get to see Champa and Head once again. Dragon Ball Super episode 71 title is Death to Goku, a head job that can't be refused. Hit is one of the most popular exclusive Dragon Ball Super character. His return alone would be enough to get us hyped, but the excitement is increased by many foes as the strongest assassin's next target is none other than Goku. He is going to come here for business as an unknown individual hired him to take out Goku. Let's see what the synopsis says. Executing an assassination mission, Goku is really, really in trouble. Check out our latest Scoop TV anime, Dragon Ball Super. Son Goku in peril? That assassin is closing in and he means business. Somebody hires the mightiest of assassins to come to Universe 7 and his target is none other than our very own Goku. How will he face off against no holds barred assassination techniques? We don't know for sure if episode 71 is going to be the start of a fully fledged new arc or will lead to a new arc or be a mini arc, but whatever the case might be, undoubtedly it is going to be intense as Hitman Head faces off Goku in a no disqualification match. Let's be real, last time in the Universal Tournament, Hit defeated Goku. Goku did forfeit, but even if it didn't, he would ultimately lose. But the fight in the tournament was limited with many bounds. Assassin Hate's job is to kill people, and most of his attacks and techniques are based on that, which he couldn't use as it was against the rules. Also, Goku made him realize that there is a still need of getting stronger, so it's predictable that he trained after the tournament and is now stronger than ever before. So I just don't see any way Goku could win this if no one else interferes. Even the title hints that Goku will get killed. We don't know if Goku will actually die, but if he died, I would be happy. Because if he sits back temporarily, Dragon Ball Super can finally concentrate a bit on characters like Gohan. Also Piccolo and other Z fighters have been inactive since like forever. I wouldn't mind a small arc where they try to sort things out led by Vegeta. Back to the problem, the biggest question, who could possibly put a hit on Goku? Given Hit is the strongest assassin in existence, literally anyone from any of the 12 universes could have ordered that. It is very hard to predict, especially if it's going to be a new character, there is nothing to predict. Anyone might be jealous of Goku as Zeno is his homie. Who knows, right? But let's try to predict who it could be just for fun. The Universal Tournament arc ended with Beerus and Champa being in a good term. Beerus used the wish to restore the art of Universe 6 as a gift to his brother. Besides, Champa never had any beef with Goku. When Champa was willing to destroy Kaba, Goku did give a death stare pushing Champa back but so did Head at the same time. Champa is coming back to have a chill time on Earth. He will play baseball against Yamcha and company probably, so I don't think it's him. Winnie the Pooh and Iron Giant aren't smart enough to do it. Head wouldn't take orders from Frost. Kaba seemed to be a good guy unless some other science came to know about it and wanted them dead. I don't see Kaba or his race being involved either. Vados looks shady to be honest, like she promised hit the gods traveling vehicle cube if he won the tournament, taking a tricky advantage of what Champa had said earlier. This is particularly important because hit is here to kill Goku. Unless the fight takes place in Universe 6, that is Goku went to Universe 6 with Beerus and Whis, one major question would be how hit reached Universe 7. The cube comes to play because that's the only known solid vehicle that is capable of such long distance traveling. But if Champa comes in Universe 7, then how would Head have it on the very next episode? Did he come with Champa? Why would Champa bring a Headman on a chill trip? Come on, that would be G.O.D.'s red wedding tear shed. However, if Vados was some another character, I would suspect her. 
but she is an angel and angels always remain neutral so i don't think she has anything to do with that either some fans commented on my previous video that Beerus might have said hit on Goku, fearing Goku might become stronger than him. Come on guys, do you still live in 2013 or what? Beerus is friends with Goku and he isn't the type to ask someone else to kill a mortal for him. Come on guys, common sense. There's only one way Beerus or Whis could have ordered it, that is as a part of Goku's traveling. In the V-Jump pick, Goku has the Whis training gi on again, hinting he might train. Keeping the 12 Universal Tournament in mind, Beerus might have wanted Goku to be ready. Since it is going to be there too, who knows. If it is some new character, then there's nothing much to say, we will have to wait and see, but do comment below what kind of character you want. Could it be that someone who suffered chaos from Goku Black said hit on Goku not knowing the real story? Or could it actually be a stage stuff said by Goku and Hit as a part of what they did in the tournament? Do not be pawns of the gods anymore. So guys, it can be anyone, it can be John Cena or Vegito, I mean why not, Goku keeps surpassing him, <laughs> just kidding. Lock your prediction in the comment section down below, let's see who gets it right. However, at the end I just want to say that Hit looks like a decent character to me and I believe he will be a part of the squad. He might be one of that evil turned good guys like Tien, Vegeta and Piccolo, heck, Tien at one point even wanted to be like Mercenary Tao, who was also like an assassin. All these guys wanted to kill Goku, more or less, and are now ready to die for him. We are yet to get someone like that from Super, so Hit might be it. For exclusive updates and videos like our Facebook page, Dragon Ball Fans. See you in the next Dragon Ball video.